everyone, it's Ashley Bornanson for the Red Carpet Report. We're here in Beverly Hills at the Paley Center for Media talking to the cast of USA Suits for their mid-season premiere. Rick, how are you doing? Rick Hoffman. Good, very good. With Rick Hoffman, who plays our infamous Lewis. Okay, so Rick, your character's a little bit insecure, but you have these moments that I feel like you just show everyone up. Tell me about how your character's developing. Right, well, he's insecure when it comes to, like, interacting with people. But when it's his job, I think he's pretty, really rock solid secure. You know, because he's really, he is great at what he does. It's just, unfortunately, he's not as great as Harvey. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, he, he's just one of those people that I think we've all dealt with, you know, where they're just socially inept. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's broken mm -hmm. and hurt. And um, yet, he could still do his job very well. Mm -hmm. um, but he's, you know, he's constantly wanting something. Like, he's not appreciated enough, or he's not, okay. you know. So it's, it's kind of sad at times for him. Yeah. You were saying that, you know, we're going to be seeing a little bit more of Lewis. He has to prove himself now to everyone. Tell me, you know, the different sides of Lewis we're going to be seeing. Well, based on what happened in the first 10 episodes of this last season, uh, as I've said before, you know, he's on this, like, he's in Siberia. And uh, it's going to take a lot in these next six episodes for him to redeem himself if he's going to even remotely be able to sit in the lunchroom again. Mm -hmm. So some, some interesting stuff happens yeah. uh, in that regard. Okay. And so it seems like there are a lot of egos that are going back and forth, yet it's such funny writing. Tell me what it's really like on set, dealing with all that. Um, I mean, as far as... Egos, egos are in the characters, um, but it looks like you guys are having a ton of fun. So right. tell me about that. Because that, yeah, what <laughs> the funny thing is, is that, um, well, it's interesting because we're dealing with a, six of us who are still kind of like really appreciating the fact that this thing is still, it's just going on and going on. Yeah. We are blessed. So as far, like, you know, as far as dealing with characters that have ego, <laughs> It's, it's very, it, it, so far it seems very far away from all of us, so it's easier to play. Mm -hmm. Because all these other characters, you know, the characters we play have these big egos, yeah. sort of. Mm -hmm. And um, I always believe as an actor, when something's a little further away from you, it's, easier, it's an easier, okay. more fun thing to play. When yeah. the things are closer to you, it's a little Lewis more challenging. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. How do you think you're similar and different than Lewis? Oh my God! Well, uh, <laughs> you're probably like I'm not like him at all. No, no. Uh, no. I mean, like as far as um, I'm, you know, it's, an, it's the question is interesting because it's like, of course, there's always a little bit in the genes as far as you know. If you know, if I would, I, I sure I could see myself as Lewis if somebody cuts me off in traffic, mm -hmm. and I have something like you know, I, I'll snicker at somebody. I'm like, all right, that's a Lewis thing, because you know, who wants to? I hate those people who cut you off in line you know so that's a but 24 7 kind of a guy who sucks <laughs> so you know I um, and I'm also very um, unlike Lewis I uh, I'm an open book and I am very um, communicative expressive and I always make sure very self-aware almost too self-aware okay where like what are you thinking about me right now? Yourself. Okay. No, but like yeah. um, in a way where like you know I, I care about uh, how other people feel. So okay. and I think Lewis has a problem. With that. Yeah, that's a really good quality. Talking about caring how other people feel. You guys have such a strong fan base. Mm. I see everywhere. There's like fan YouTube sites yeah. everywhere. It's, tell me about that. I'm not like this is the first time I will I will t I will tell you. He's pointing at you. Are you all right there? Uh, that this is getting kind of nutty. Like, I was in New York just this week and in Toronto, and, like, I usually have, like, people over the age of 65 come up to me about, like, with other shows that I've done that last for two seconds. Now I'm getting, like, young 20-year-olds who are, like, coming up going, Lewis! Lewis, can I have a hug? I'm like, a hug? A hug? In the middle of a Starbucks. And my parents are watching, like, that is so great! Yeah, I have to say... I have to say, my family is obsessed with the show. I texted them. I was like, hey, do you guys love, you know, suits? They're like, oh, my gosh, ask Lewis if he's always creepy. Yeah, like, yeah no, no. I'll take that as a compliment. I'll take that as a compliment. And, by the way, they're like 27 years old that are asking me. So. My God, I'm so creepy. You know what? I'll, that's fine. I, it's a nice job to have as creepy guy. Well, thank you so much, Lewis. You guys have a great night. Thank you.
Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. For more interviews and exclusive insiders, be sure to like and subscribe.